Only in Florida can you attend a birthday party for a sea turtle. Sea Life Aquarium put on a week-long celebration for its resident loggerhead, Ted. Complete with a cake made of fish, fruit, and veggies, Ted has been a big deal since the day he hatched. As a baby, he was one of the first turtles to test out the Turtle Excluder Device, or TED, hence his name. It keeps turtles from getting caught in fishing nets. And last year, Ted was voted Orlando's most loved animal. Take that, Mickey and Minnie. And later this year, he'll be featured on a Frontier Airlines jet. You know, the ones with the cool animal art on the tail? I hope all this attention doesn't go to Ted's head. Passengers who fly into Tampa on Air Ted will be greeted by this. The Big Flamingo sculpture at Tampa International is finally complete. Workers have installed the water panel above it, giving the illusion the bird is feeding with its head below the surface, as flamingos do. Watch out, folks, lest that pink predator mistakes you for a tasty shrimp. And after your photo op with the Flamingo, go check out the bathroom. Tampa International is in the running for the title of America's Best Restroom. Yes, that's a thing. These bathrooms may be number one because of their spaciousness, their lighting, and their clean aesthetic. I guess when your airport call letters are TPA, you'd better have a nice home for the TP. From an awesome place to potty, to a possum place to potty. An elementary student in Brevard County was horrified to find a marsupial in the girl's bathroom. And the possum looks just as horrified by the invasion of privacy. A very proud school resource deputy roped off the door and put up a sign declaring the bathroom a wildlife zone. And if you've been to a school restroom recently, you know that's not a stretch. Animal rescuers eventually came and pulled the possum away from the porcelain. The animals of Florida appear eager to get an education. This mid-sized gator showed up at a middle school in Fort Myers and was promptly escorted off campus. And this small gator was found appropriately at an elementary school in Polk County, giving this police officer the chance to show off his previous employment skills. Has he done this before? He used to be an FWC trapper. Oh. It pays to have a former licensed trapper on the force and leave it to a teacher to be thinking of supplies. Does he need some tape? He's got it. He has that too already? God, he's good. You can't blame the gator for picking this school, though. Spessard Holland Elementary is home of the gators. But the new teacher's pet is clearly Officer Dallas Haney. You are good. Keep it our school safe. That's and gator. Right. Some cops get all the glory. Others get all the grief. Oh my God, you sound like my LA coach. A Pinellas County deputy trying to get this woman to do a field sobriety test was instead treated to a dance recital as she performed something between an Irish jig and a ballet. The deputy gave her multiple chances to walk a straight line, but she kept on dancing and prancing, pirouetting, and twirling until it was all too clear how this spirited show must end. Do not pull away, you understand? I don't know if she's single, but I've got just the guy for her. Remember this video from a couple years ago in Pasco County? After being busted behind the wheel, he busted a move. Number one lesson here, don't make a bad choice with alcohol because embarrassing video getting out to the public isn't nearly the worst thing that could happen to you. You know, you can cut a rug anywhere, but you can jig your way to jail and shimmy your way to the slammer only in Florida.